my YouTube channel. I'm aware that most of you are still at work and the others are still on the way home for me. I'm already back home, not just home, but I'm at a salon trying to look all good for my son and for God. You know what I mean? Yes. Even if I'm a single mother, it doesn't mean that I don't have to look good. I have to look good for the camera, I have to look good for you, and I have to look good for me as well. You know that? How about this? You, as an educator, you stand up for your children and you're not looking good. You want to teach them about education, um, sanity. Um, you want to teach them about cleanliness, how to be clean, how to take care of your body. And you, the teacher, you ain't looking good. Oh, too bad. You're gonna look like a nightmare before you student. And guess what? Everything you're teaching them, they are not interested. So I'm an educator with a difference. And I like to look good no matter how cheap. No matter how cheap. I just want to look good, you know that kind of thing. I want to look good for my son, for my God, and for more. Ah. Thank you, those of you that joined my YouTube channel this morning. I saw your like, I saw your thumbs up, and I saw your subscription. I'm so grateful. I am hurting you right now. You can feel my heart beating. Ooh. <laughs> that kind of thing. So, for those of you that have not joined my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? All you need to do, just click on the subscription button and then go to the notification. Oh, my English too much, Abby. I bet click your subscription button and back. Make you touch your notification button so that anytime with the video, the land, you're going to get the alert. As they get money a lot, you're gonna get my video a lot. Tangam, tangam. You two like money. Ah, it's the like old you. And that's some of them are vex now because not only a lot, bank a lot, as in money entry, now not the likes with the here. No worry. Let me prophesy. Oh, I received the grace to prophesy. As many of you that are listening and watching my video right now, every time you are expecting money a lot, you will get one in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can somebody say hallelujah? Hallelujah. <laughs> I like being chorche. And for the records, it works because the Bible says, Faith is saying these things. Even when you have not felt it, you just believe it in your heart. So you just believe it that you're gonna make money, you're gonna get money, you go get money, you go get goodie, and your level's gonna change. Small, small. You know that kind of thing. May the Lord bless you. I'm aware that most of us have not subscribed to my YouTube channel. I don't know what, what you're waiting for. Please go to your subscription and click on it. Dang and then go to the notification button and you click on it. Dang and then you thumbs up, you like, and you share. I like the sound of that. Okay. This afternoon, while I'm at a salon trying to fix myself up, I want to have a chit chat with the mothers. So remember, I have nine contents, okay? And today, I will be talking about the children. I will be talking about your child, your begin, your baby. I want to talk about the best punishment for you children. Most of you say, Bible talk say, when you spread the rod, you spread the child. It's a lie, my dear. The Bible talked about the rod, and the rod means so much. It doesn't mean that you're trying to spread the rod, and you want to kill the picking way God put for your belay. It is wrong. You don't have to beat up the child like a a criminal all you need to do is make sure that correction happens so today I want to talk about punishment the right punishment for your children and the right sanctions the best way to correct your children when they go wrong please I know that most of your mothers will not agree with me when I talk about you correcting your children with love in love you need to correct your children in love 
it's important because sometimes when you don't correct your children in love you end up sending the wrong message and the children hate you they resent you and then they say I don't let my mommy again. my mommy is a bad mommy please when it gets to the point when your child begins to resent you it's a danger zone can you hear that it's a danger zone. Make sure your children do not resent you. Mm -hmm. So today, this evening, I will be talking to you about the best way to correct your children. Listen, they are called children and not adults. Even you're an adult, you will accept and bear me witness that when you were a child, you were naughty. You did find trouble well, well. You did disobey your mama. Even sometimes you did thief meat from both. I like. I beg if I like, comment for my section. Comment section below. We want to know whether I am talking the truth or talking the lie. <laughs> but the truth is, we are adults and we do not allow the children to get the wrong message. The wrong message. Remember, the whole idea is to correct the child, yeah? And not to break the child. When you hurt the child to a point that the child gets to hate you and feel broken, at that point, you have just lost your baby. So, number one, punishment is a way to put the children right. These are measures that we take always select out of the least of other measures to correct the child so what corrective measures are you adopting to correct your child most people make use of amarogu to amola normal 24 50 strokes oh my goodness when i was a girl a little girl my father oh in blessed memory daddy adieu in blessed memory, Daddy, adieu. My dad made use of the electrical wire to flog us. He gave us hot beating, and every time it got to my turn, I will always think like this. Oh, sorry. I don't know say in front of camera. Like I think. Ugh. And then they'll be reviving me. Hey, 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 Christabel, Bella, she has fainted. And after they've revived me, you go still flog me, put inside. Picking where they just revive from things. You go still flog me, join now. No vessel, I know lie on top of my head, even if you're there for a grave, now try to talk. It is wrong. And he broke me. I hated him. I resented him. Every time was sir or daddy coming in through the gate or the estate gate. I would run under the table. The sight of my father scared me a lord because he always hurt me. Most of you, you make use of sticks. Most of you, you make use of cane. Most of you, it's okay to use the cane, but it's not okay to make the child, oh, don't blame me. I'm feeling my baby cry. I'm sorry, dog. I'm sorry, baby. So most of you, you make use of spoon. And then for others, anything where your hand touch, now you they use flog your picking. Once you don't the vex like this, if now washing machine your hand feel, you just touch washing machine, go lift up. Yeah, go land up for your picking head. Imbosa. Please, that is called child abuse. So without wasting much time today, I want to talk about means through which you can correct the child. Number one, sanctioning the child. A child in class that disturbs as a teacher, the child makes so much noise, what do you need to do? Just take the child to one corner of your class and then give the child a different task to do. Get the child busy, but the child should understand that the reason why he's isolated from the others is because he's disturbing the class. Number two, another thing you can do to correct your child is to ground your child those beautiful things you give to your children, like taking them out to the games villa, to Mr. Biggs, you allow them to go play football at the playground, you ground them. So when others are out there playing, 
you make sure that they are not playing with them. They have to sit at the corner of the classroom or they have to stay indoors with you. You do not allow the child to play with his friends. You do not allow the child to do what other people are doing. You just make sure that the child stays within your sight. Children hate it when you don't allow them to do what others are doing, okay? Number three, you can make the child write an apology letter. I will not steal again, or I will not make noise again, or I will not steal my mommy's money. It depends on the age of the child. And when you make the child write these things, maybe for, for full scrap sheet or 500 times, I will not disobey my mommy and my daddy again. I will not disobey my mommy and my daddy again. By the time the child is done writing it, you would have ended up correcting the child and there will be a lot of improvement in that child. You can make the child say, I'm sorry, all right, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do it again, okay? Or, my favorites, you are here, I can tell you. Go to the verse of the scripture that talks about that bad habit. Maybe the child tells lies. You can tell the child to Revelation, all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire. You give the child a Bible, tell the child to recite it 50 times. The child is going to read that scripture 50 times. All liars shall have their part in the lake of fire. 48 times. All liars shall have their part in the lake of fire. Mommy, I'm tired. Continue. All liars shall have their part in the lake of fire. All liars. Mommy, I will not lie again. Continue. All liars. All liars, mommy. I've been saying all liars since 4 o'clock. Now it is 6 o'clock that is knocking. By the time you've done this almost 60 to 70 times, the child now understands that the reason mommy is punishing me or the reason mommy has sanctioned me is because I told a lie. And by so doing, that verse of the scripture sticks to the child's mind. That verse of the scripture becomes a foundation. Whenever, wherever the child goes, he remembers all lies. Shall have the part in the car. I'm not gonna tell the lies. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go to hell. My mommy told me to say all lies, I go to the so I end up in hell by her because she does not want me to go to hell by her. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my video. And um I'm gonna be releasing another video, can you guess? Okay, guess, guess, guess. Guess now. Ah, you don't know it. Are you shy? <laughs> okay, don't be shy again, yeah? I tell you. Our next video is gonna be tummy time for newborn babies. My next video is for new mummies. New mummies say hooray! Hooray! So, it's time to say goodbye. But remember, subscribe, share, thumbs up, and turn on the notification button. I love you. I heart you. Thank you. And bye.